Saturday, and tonight my special guest is Rob and Wally and Hearts, and it's been a while since we had you on, Rob, but welcome back to the show, buddy. Hey, thanks. It's nice to be back, Brian. And, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, I, I, uh, I don't know, keep going. <laughs> so, man, it's been a while. I know you guys are starting to work on some new stuff, and uh, we are actually going to kick off the show with uh, one of your new songs, and uh, this is probably... One of the funniest ones <laughs> to date for me. So we're gonna kick it off here. <laughs> we're gonna kick it off here with Kanye. Dig this, the Wild Young Hearts. I had a dream that I played this song for Kanye, and he said that shit was cool. We got high and drank wine from a crystal glass Then picked his kids up at school I woke up with a model down at the Lowe's Hotel She looked like Katy Perry, but I was too drunk to tell I can't wait until everybody knows my name And I can't make it through the mall without them all knowing me I've been living so high 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 So high Later that day At about 30,000 feet We're taking shots of Patron I was flying with Rihanna and Beyonce in the throne oh, We touched down in Paris And maybe London as well I don't really remember I was too high to tell I can't wait until Everybody knows my name And I can't make it through the mall Without them all knowing me I'll be living so high I'll be living so high I'll be living so high I've been living so high So high I passed out with an actress At the Chateau Marmont She looked like Kylie Jenner 
But maybe not quite as hot I can't wait until everybody knows my name And I can't make it through the mall without them all knowing me I've been living so high 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 Young Hearts with Kanye and even got the the, the voice changer going too. Like, <laughs> nice, nice, a nice added effect. But I, know, figured, I figured it would, he would like it. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's like it's, a, it's a funny tune and like totally get it. And I just like he just one of those guys that you know, like even though he irritates the hell out of me. You know, I have to give him props for, for producing because he is one hell of a producer. You know, like as much as he's one of those guys you you love to hate, so I gotta give him res, gotta give him respect for for his producing abilities. You gotta have bad bad guys in your culture. Uh, that song's not gonna be on our album or anything. We just made that up one day and we thought it was cool. Oh man, well perfect. It's 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 always good to throw out a fun tune. I mean, like you think of all the B sides from all the different bands that come out. Like some of those weren't original thoughts. Like, uh, well, it's just uh, why not. You know? Yeah, exactly. That's what we were thinking. We were at a point where we recorded a bunch of songs, and we were just like, "Yeah, we're gonna do this and that and that." And then we never used any of them, but we were like, "Well, that Kanye song was kind of fun. We should like, we should show it to someone. Like, we should at least just put it out there for fun." Well, for sure. So, you guys are working on new stuff right now. Do you guys have like any kind of set time frame for uh, releases or anything? Or um. We, uh, they, uh, I'd say next year, like 2017, um, early 2017 or something, like it should be done in like October, November. I, I want to say we'll have like a real new song to give you in like two months or so, but I mean, I might just be talking out my ass. No, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, um, that, that's, that's the plan right now. Um. I'm actually uh, gonna go to San Diego uh, tomorrow to work on it. Um, we're, we're gonna do it in San Diego because uh, it's more fun there, right. and uh, they have better burgers and better burritos and stuff like that down there. So we thought it'd be fun. Um, you know, but that's, you know, speaking, we'll, we'll see. It's 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 you know, Justin's no longer in the band. Oh, okay. So Justin moved. So we're a three piece now. So. Um, you know, with that, with new territory comes new ideas and adventures or whatever the saying is. So we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. We'll and, see what happens. Oh yeah. But you know, you know what? And this, this speaking of burgers, because there, there's not one even close because Michigan is the closest state to London and my old man, I got some friends down there, whole deal. But the one place I've always wanted to try, but they don't have, and it's all pretty much only in the Midwest, so like California, that sort of area is the In-N-Out burger. Oh yeah, In and Out's pretty bomb. And I've always... you, guys fat, you guys have Fat Burger over there, don't you? Uh, closest ones in Vegas. Vegas. Vegas, yeah. There's there... shit. You don't, one, you don't have one in Toronto? No, no, not not yet. At least. There's one in Grand Prairie, Alberta. Well, there might be one in Toronto soon, but at this point, there's not not one they know. Of. Plus, I don't make too many trips up to Toronto unless it's for a show or something. Because otherwise, like, I don't want to uh, deal. I don't want to deal with the traffic and crap down there, man. It's not worth it. I don't understand Central Canada. I don't know how far you are from Toronto. Uh, hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. So fairly close. Depending on traffic, you could, it could be two hours plus. I mean, really, the only pain in the ass is once you get into Toronto traffic. It's our, all the feeders on the highway, so it's like it's 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 a, it's a gong show to say the least. Fine. That's not so bad. But anyways, the point with In and Out Burger is because like. Ever since I, this is going years back. Ever since I saw the movie Fletch with Chevy Chase, you know, he the one of the opening scenes in the line, he's talking to a woman at his work. He says, "Uh, how, how about we go to the In and Out Burger?" And she's like, "No, because well, how much then? Okay, well, how much the out, right?" <laughs> and I've always been curious as as to what they what they taste like if there's one close enough, but never been close enough to one because, like I said, it's usually just Midwest. I know it's a random sidetrack, but it is, that's what made me think about it. No, that's normal. 
happens. I, I hit in and out last night actually, so that's that's normal. So man, we got some really good tunes coming up here. Uh, the next one we have coming up is a band from Scotland called Proud Honey, and this is off. Uh, the, they're also off their newest album. Well, they're what's their name? Proud Honey. Proud Honey. Yep. Proud Honey. Okay. Proud Honey. Yep. Proud Honey. Okay. Yep. Cool. And this song's called All the Things You've Done. Dig this. Proud honey. 